Hi everyone, my name is Wern Jia Lu from Gemini Lab, Alibaba Group. Today, we present our work, Pegasus, Bridging Polynomial and Non-Polynomial Evaluations in Homomorphic Encryption. This is co-work with my colleagues, Chikong Huang, Ching Hong, Yiping Ma, and Hunter Chu. Let's consider this general to party scenario of privacy preserving computation. A private model F, such as a decision tree is held by a model holder. She want to cooperate with a data holder and jointly compute the evaluation of Fx without revealing the private information of the model and data. Homomorphic encryption is one of the tools to solve this problem. By letting the model holder encrypt the model using her private key, and by letting the data holder to evaluate the model homomorphically, finally, the model holder can decrypt the response and obtain the evaluation without seeing the data. Different types of homomorphic encryption support pretty different styles of functionality. For example, we have lookup table homomorphic encryption of one kind. The other kind of homomorphic encryption can allow to add and multiply encrypted values. On one hand, when using LHE, arbitrary Boolean function can be privately evaluated. However, the price for evaluating large fun in arithmetic computation in Boolean circuit is high. On the other hand, we can use the packing techniques to accelerate large fun in arithmetic computation if we use the AHE. Also, approximations seem inevitable for evaluating non-polynomial functions, such as division. Can we use HE to evaluate polynomial and non-polynomial functions simultaneously? Some approaches do provide us a way to evaluate both polynomial and non-polynomial functions using HE. Chi and ETL propose a specified method to compute mean max of encrypted values using an arithmetic HE scheme named HEIN. On the other hand, Michinsios method uses FHEW scheme to compute lookup table on small integers. Also, the FHEW allows only to add cipher text and multiplication of cipher texts is not supported by this scheme. The most promising previous art is from Bra ETL. They present a framework called Chimera, which allows much more flexible polynomial and non-polynomial evaluation using homomorphic encryption. But Chimera can suffer from a huge key size and heavy computation. We still lack of practical methods to evaluate both polynomial and non-polynomial functions homomorphically and effectively. In this work, we propose Pegasus, a framework that bridges the HEIN scheme and the FHEW scheme to evaluate both polynomial and non-polynomial functions on encrypted values. By doing so, we can efficiently evaluate polynomial function in the HEIN mode and switch to FHEW mode for non-polynomial function using lookup table. Pegasus is shipped with a more efficient scheme switching method and our key size is significantly smaller than that of Chimera. We implement Pegasus on top of Microsoft SEAL library, and our codes are publicly available. Pegasus consists of three main building blocks, including two scheme switching methods and a homomorphic lookup table. Here, we talk about the last two building blocks. We first introduce the basic idea of Switching FHEW cipher text to valid HEIN cipher text. One FHEW cipher encrypts one integer. Its decryption formula requires to compute the inner product of vectors. F2H converts a batch of FHEW ciphers to a packed HEIN cipher. To perform F2H, we need to homomorphically decrypt these FHEW cipher texts. By rewriting the FHEW decryption formula, we can convert the computation as a matrix vector multiplication, given the encrypted secret vector S. By recasting the problem to matrix vector multiplication, it can help reducing the key size significantly. However, current approaches for the matrix vector multiplication can only handle the short matrix properly. That is, they assume the matrix should contain less number of rows than the columns. But, the opposite case indicates a large fun in computation in HEIN, which is crucial to achieve a good amortized efficiency.
We now present the proposed matrix vector multiplication, which is used in F2H switching. Here, the matrix A is given in plane, and the vector S is encrypted. Our idea is to first tiling the matrix A into a square matrix. Then we apply Haley this diagonal trick to compute the matrix multiplication. We observe that only a few subset of the diagonals are needed due to the self-duplication. By doing so, the computation cost is greatly improved, particularly when the number of rows is far larger than the number of columns. Also, this tiling approach can cover the short matrix case with a logarithmic overhead. Next, we will talk about how to evaluate lookup table homomorphically in Pegasus. Indeed, previous methods have presented how to evaluate lookup table on FHEW cipher text. One of them uses Jinx HE accumulator to compute the FHEW decryption formula homomorphically. However, it demands the cipher text modulus Q to be a factor of the lattice dimension N, because the dimension N is usually a few 10 bits. As a result, Previous homomorphic lookup table can only handle quite small inputs. Our idea to release this constraint is to convert the mod Q to mod N by rounding the cipher text to multiples of to times N. Then we feed the rounding values with a modified lookup table T tilde to the HE accumulator. The side effect of this rounding is introducing some approximation error. So example, this figure demonstrates the error for the sigmoid function computed using homomorphic lookup table. By using a larger dimension n, we can reduce this error. Moreover, we use a special prime gadget technique to improve the performance the accumulator. For example, Pegasus takes about one second to evaluate a lookup table while Chimera needs about one minute, according to the public code of Chimera. Also, a key switching step is required to change the FHEW dimension to smaller n, but we omit the detail in this talk. We now show some timing results of our Pegasus implementation. In our experiments, we use a large parameter for HEAN so that we can perform large Farnin polynomial function. We use the same dimension N as Chimera for the lookup table. On our test bed, the H to F switching took about 20 milliseconds per cipher text, while Chimera might took about 4 seconds. Our homomorphic lookup table took about one second to compute, which also is more faster than Chimera's implementation. Moreover, the proposed F2H converts more than 4000 FHEW cipher text to a packed HEAN cipher text within one minute. Interestingly, recent improvements that from SEAL can even reduce these timing by 40% without any changing to Pegasus's code. Pointwise functions can evaluate it by one lookup table, such as sigmoid and square root. We benchmarked the throughput of these functions, which was about 1.06 per machine core. We also evaluate functions that consists of multiple lookup tables, including the mean index and by tonic sort. To compare with the previous methods, our mean index took about 1.0 seconds, that is about 24 times faster than Chian's method. On the other hand, to sort 60 for encrypted integers, it took about 7 minutes, which was about 6 times faster than the previous method that evaluate a Boolean circuit homomorphically. We now present two use cases of Pegasus. The first one is to compute the minimum values in an encrypted array. The basic block is to find the mean of two values. In our experiments, we use this absolute formula since the homomorphic addition and subtraction are supported by FHEW scheme, this formula which needs to look up tables to evaluate. Then by stacking this basic block INT a binary tree, we can find out the minimum encrypted value. In our testbed, to find the mean from 16 encrypted values took about 14 seconds. Also, we know that the cost of mean of to can be reduced by half using the new formula. The previous case need no switching between HEAN and FHEW. We now show a different case, doing k-means clustering on encrypted data points. The k-mean clustering is an iterative algorithm. In each update, we first calculate the square or the distance between each data points and centroids. This step can be done using a polynomial function. 
Then we assign the data points to its closest centroid. We turn to a non-polynomial function, mean index in this step. The H2F kick in. The mean index gives us a sequences of binary values, indicating which centroid should assign to. Finally, we update each centroid using the average of the data points that assigned. In order to take the average, we need F to H to switching F H E W back to HEN. After the F to H, we can update the centroid using homomorphic multiplication on HEN cipher X. Empirically, we can perform one update on 4K data points within 52 minutes using 20 machine cores. Switching cipher texts of different HE schemes can extend the feasibility of homomorphic encryption. Practical scheme switching methods are necessary to do so. If allows some approximation errors, it can bring a huge improvement to efficiency. But it is still challenging to switching between exact arithmetic homomorphic encryption such as the BGV scheme and exact lookup table homomorphic encryption efficiently.